Hello, this is Gavin Farrington again. I'm a uh, wedding photographer in Northern California and I'm also a Lightroom and workflow trainer. So um, I've got something sort of unusual to show you today uh, and I apologize ahead of time. This may take me a few more than two or three minutes because we're going to try and uh, show you a variety of circumstances here. But um, essentially what I want to show you is uh, what happens when we get images that are corrupted but didn't appear corrupt on the back of the camera. Now this may have happened to you in the past, or it may not, but it's possible for an image to be corrupted and appear fine on the back of the camera, but still be corrupted when you get it copied over, your, over to your computer. So I have got one such image. Um, this didn't come from me, this came from a friend. I've seen this in my own work before, but unfortunately I just don't have samples of that around to do the video with, so I, I borrowed this from a friend. Um, and I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to synchronize this folder and it's going to appear to come in just fine. Um, and after just a second, it's going to flip and you're going to be able to see that it's corrupted. So watch what happens here. Synchronize that. Looks good. Oh, there it is. Okay, so why did that happen? First off, how come it looked fine at the beginning and then suddenly switched to being corrupted? Is that Lightroom's fault? Did Lightroom do something to the image? Not really. Um, here's what happened. So what's happening here is Lightroom hasn't done anything to the image. It wasn't fine and then suddenly broken because Lightroom touched it. Um, what actually happened is that when Lightroom first starts to import files and it shows you uh, the very first preview that it shows you or the very first thumbnail image that it shows you is not generated by Lightroom. That preview file comes from a place inside of the raw file. When you're shooting raw on your camera, this is true for most cameras, I can't guarantee for all of them, but it's true for all of you know the major cameras at least, Canon, Nikon, Sony does this as well. Um, the camera, when it saves the raw file to the memory card, it is also generating a quick and dirty JPEG file that it hides inside of the raw file. So for example, on my Canons that generate CR2 files, and mind you, I'm not shooting in that split mode where the camera saves raw and JPEG and you get two different files out of one shot. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about just working in pure raw mode. The camera saves a CR2 to the memory card. Inside of that, mem that CR2, it is hiding a JPEG preview of the file. Now, that's generated by the camera on the fly, and it's the reason why you can hit the play button on the back of your camera, and you can spin the wheel and zoom through the images really fast, and then if you've ever wondered, well, why can the camera show me my images so fast, and yet when I get to Lightroom, it takes forever to process a JPEG or what have you. Well, the reason is that your camera isn't actually showing you the contents of the raw data, it's showing you this JPEG preview file that it's, that it's generated and hidden inside of your raw file. So when we do the export, and you can go back and rewind and look at it again. When we do the import into Lightroom for a, about a second and a half, it is actually, in order to make it look like it's performing quickly, it is actually showing you the contents of that JPEG preview that's embedded inside of your RAW file. Then, moments later, Lightroom has an opportunity to generate a, its own um, preview file based on the actual RAW contents of the file. And so what we saw when the image suddenly went from um, when the image suddenly went from fine to corrupted is we saw the transition from Lightroom showing you the embedded preview to showing you the preview that's actually based on the real raw data. So unfortunately in this case what you've seen this is not undoable. There is no way to uncorrupt this image. It's just, it's just ruined. Um, I'm going to show you a couple other places where this shows up just so that you can be convinced. Um, right now, this image that we're looking at, I'm going to show you the exact same image in my finder window. There it is. You can see it's not corrupted there. And yet, if I double click it, oops, it went to the wrong window. Hold on. Uh, I don't know if I can show you this or not. I can't. Let's try it one more time. See if I'll remember that. There. Up. Oh, see? Explorer just did the very same thing because it was doing the same thing as I described. It was showing you the preview for a moment, and then suddenly it was uh, reading the, you know, re reading out the raw data on its own and showing you the actual image. Um, I can show you also how this behaves in Photo Mechanic. Let me pull this up here really quick. Here it is in Photo Mechanic. You can see it looks fine there. 
when I open it up like this, it looks fine like that. And when I zoom in, it still looks fine. And the reason for this is that photo mechanic, you may have heard of how fast photo mechanic is at previewing raw files. Well, there's a little bit of a secret there. They're kind of playing a trick. That they're not you're not actually previewing the raw file. Photo mechanic only operates on the JPEG preview files, which is the reason why you can go from one image to the next so quickly. I'll, I'll put together another video showing that off um, another time. Uh, anyhow, so as you can, this is the exact same file, by the way. What we're looking at here is exactly the same file in exactly the same folder, exactly the same spot on the hard drive as what we're seeing here. The only difference is that Lightroom generates its own preview based on the contents of the raw file, whereas Photo Mechanic does not. It strictly relies on the JPEG preview that embedded in the file. So it will never see that that content, the contents there is corrupted. By the way, you can use um, Photo Mechanic to save this JPEG preview file out. So say for example, this were an absolutely critical shoot. I could not go back and reshoot it. I find out that the file is corrupted. I can use Photo Mechanic to tell it to extract that JPEG preview, which obviously is healthy. It's not gonna give you quite the uh, adjustment latitude and all the beautiful things that RAW gives us that we would like but it's there, it might save your butt in a sort of an emergency kind of situation. Um, okay, let's see, where are we? <clears throat> so the good news is that this doesn't happen very often. If this is giving you nightmares and you're suddenly, you know, if, if, you always, if you've been shooting all of this time and you thought it's no big deal, I'm always chimping, I look at the back of the screen to make sure everything's okay, and now you show me this and you're telling me that it can actually be damaged even though it looks back good on the back of the screen, well, yes, that is, that is what I'm telling you. But the good news, at least for the moment, is that I've only seen this a couple of times over the course of my career. Um, and every time that I have seen it, it has been a result of a bad card reader and not the result of a bad camera. I'm not saying it can't happen because of a bad camera. Absolutely, it could. Um, however, uh, the most common cause seems to be a bad card reader. So don't format your cards as soon as you're done. Make sure that your data looks good and you work through everything before you format them and reuse them. Um, go out, and if this happens to you, go out and grab another card reader and try downloading the data again. Chances are, at least as far as I've seen, chances are good that you'll be in good shape. <clears throat> So has, the, so has this issue ever happened to you? I'd love to hear all about it down in the comments. Were you able to fix it by going back to a memory card reader or a different card reader and trying to re-download the data? Or did it turn out to be something that happened inside of the camera? Um, and uh, did you have to reshoot it? Um, I'd love to hear all about it. And as always, if you have ideas or suggestions for a quick video tutorial, um, send them along and maybe I'll put something together just for you. Follow me, um, Twitter, Facebook, uh, here on YouTube. I'd love to hear uh, all about your photography. So has a problem like this ever affected you? Were you able to uh, correct it by just using a different card reader or was it something that ended up being internal to the camera? Um, share with a share. Uh, I'd love to hear what happened in the comments below um, or if you had a different experience. Um, share that as well. Follow me here on YouTube or uh, Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Plus, whatever your poison is. Um, and I uh, hope to see you around. Have a great day.